Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. So this is someone who's solid, steady, um, perhaps comes from a stable family, but you know what I'm getting appointment here? You know, even when this person is struggling and I'm seeing this in their heart space as well, this is someone who likes to repress what they're going through. So they'll put up a happy face I'm getting they have a large, you know, friend group or um, they have a solid support system with that 11th house, four of wands and Mercury, um, but yet they feel alone. This is someone who feels alone in a crowd. There's something that's bothering them, a void uh, that they need to work on. Um, I'm not sure. Some of you, it can stem from their childhood, but it's not giving me too much detail about that. But it is, you know, emphasizing that this, this person has it all, but yet they're still dissatisfied for some reason to this. So how others perceive them, we have seventh house, first house, Venus, seven of cups, temperance, four of pentacles. We have a lot of seven, seven coming through. Could be someone who's quite spiritual, a very calm, cool, collected energy, very serene. Yeah, a peaceful vibe coming through. Um... This is someone who has a lot of potential. Other people see that. Um, especially, I'm getting romance being highlighted here. This is someone who's extremely attractive. We have Venus. First house is actually um, surrounded by Venus and seventh house. And seventh house is ruled by Venus. So yeah, aesthetically very pleasing. Um, you, I think this is someone who's conventionally gorgeous. So other people, the first thing they notice about them is um, I'm almost getting symmetrical facial features. That's one attribute of Venus, right? Someone who may have dimples as well is coming through. But this is not about their physical appearance. But I, ha I actually didn't get this for a lot of signs, but their physical appearance is being highlighted for some reason. I think, yeah, this is someone who's gorgeous. But, you know, I was getting there's a void. It could be because this person may... When there's Venus strong in a person's chart, um, sometimes and with the Libra, these people can be constantly in relationships, so they don't like being alone. And I'm not getting for your person that they, they, you know, they are not capable. They're actually very independent. But some of you, that disappointment may be coming because they haven't met you yet. That is a possibility here. But also other people notice this is someone who's quite private. You know, they're sociable. They're very kind, sweet, you know, social skills coming through. This person knows how to carry themselves in a social setting. They're normally well-liked, quite diplomatic as a person. But um, for some of you, they hold back a lot. This is someone who doesn't like to rock the boat. That is coming through. So they may hold back on saying what they truly feel in some cases. For their heart space, we have four of cups, ten of pentacles. So how they experience and deal with emotions. This is someone who avoids. Maybe that's why they need to, they have the five of cups high priestess. This person needs to confront whatever emptiness is within them. Um, but also in general, they they tend to avoid emotions. It's on work if they're, you know, depressed or going through. It's almost as if work helps them numb, um, you know, what they're feeling. So yeah, they, they go to work to deal with their emotions. A bit of a workaholic coming through. That is some area that perhaps you can help them with. Mental space, how they experience and deal with know how they demonstrate their intellect and thoughts we have empress chariot queen of pentacles again that venus energy coming through this is someone who's quite soft you know they'll choose their words quite carefully they're very fair in in their dealings um someone who's quite forthright honest is see all sides of a situation they're intelligent in that sense they're quite intuitive as well but yeah practical intelligent and very loving in the way they communicate is coming through i just noticed we have 777 for their spirituality we have queen of wands seven of pentacles yeah for sure spiritual 
um queen of wands normally in the other decks has a cat so i'm getting someone who's quite intuitive i was getting that here as well someone who makes a lot of decisions based on their instinct they have a very heightened intuition is coming through yeah someone who's quite observant this is someone who pays attention to details though very perceptive person for your first impression of them taurus we have king of cups death scorpio energy coming through you'll see them as quite again i'm seeing observant um again i'm getting that calm peaceful energy coming from them but perhaps a bit distant um but i think you'll like them though you'll they'll come across as a bit mysterious to you but that will be intriguing i think complex character you'll want to know more about them for your life circumstances when you meet we have nine of swords king of wands nine of wands so you're stressed out um think overthinking right nine of swords staying up late at night and replaying events some of you are dealing with the player with that king of wands and that is what you're stressing about when you meet your real person and others of you it's yeah there's a fear here of attracting a player perhaps or being cheated on there's something going on here very guarded defensive and stressed out when you meet your person for their first impression of you is quite the opposite actually of what you're going through we have eight of pentacles justice so they'll see you as someone who's one very beautiful with that libra coming through um but someone who's uh quite focused on their work very business focused or school whatever there's a project you're working on you have your head down and you're working perhaps not paying attention right yeah the justice the eyes they're blindfolded here as well and eight of pentacles he's looking down at the pentacle so maybe yeah you're isolated and just you put your you have your head down and you're working on some project is how they'll view you so this could be work or school where you meet but they also see you as someone who's trustworthy they're quite instinctive as a person so they'll be picking up on this yeah they'll see you as similar to who they are perhaps a mirror of themselves because yeah they'll see you as someone who's quite fair trustworthy someone of integrity for their life circumstances when you meet we have nine of pentacles moon yeah solo independent single may not be the happiest about being single but yeah i think they're look looking they're searching they're seeking for you and they will be ready um when they there's a little bit of sadness about being single that is what i'm honestly getting in this reading let's look at your oracle cards well we have a wish come true someone will possess all the qualities you ever wanted in a partner a dream come true i think you're the second sign to have received this card but card it's beautiful though it's saying you will receive what you want pretty much a wish come true mature relationship and you're actually the only sign to receive this oracle whether you're older or not this union will be focused on companionship support dependability and love so that's nice you know if you were dealing with immature player like energies this will be a breath of fresh air for you because this is someone who's you know they've seen life they're coming through as the queens um and the king here so very mature individual and someone who you know want to work together as a team you won't be the only one that's you know putting in effort energy to make this work it'll be equal give and take here very supportive of one another and all three of your love cards are actually quite positive here as well we have good timing so it's saying you'll meet in divine timing perfect timing um some of you may know this person already but that's very few of you we have giving so yeah very generous person they're ready they're waiting for you and 
he's giving her a present here so yeah i'm seeing them gift their heart to you very yeah they'll you know this is someone who's materially financially well off right they were represented by the four of wands ten of pentacles empress queen of pentacles um yeah they'll get gift giving maybe a love language but um they will be you know spending money on you taking you out whining dining getting a romantic vibe from this person and we have openness how sweet is that so yeah very emotionally available when you meet and quite open receptive it's that queen of cups energy they're waiting for you <laughs> taurus we have don't leave yeah this is someone who will be quite attached to you i didn't i was going to say dependent but i'm not getting that um just someone who's attached you know never wanting to let you go once you meet i still care yes quite compassionate there's a lot of love this person will have for you and towards you and we have confused yeah they can be this is a libra energy they have a lot of libra in their throughout this spread so they can have a hard time making up their mind a bit indecisive people were seeing them as seven of cups someone who has a lot of opportunities in love career and sometimes have a, has a hard time making up their mind let's i want to use just the astrological cards to get more about their personality we'll see what we can come up with there virgo yeah we had mercury i think in their energy but earth as well uh -oh. pisces okay 10th house this has come out for a lot of signs fifth house taurus taurus Scorpio, yeah, your first impression of another Scorpio Aries. Wow. I want to clarify Virgo. Possibility of meeting through a work or day to day. Okay, Taurus, so their personality, this is someone who's, again, the emotions are very emotional, intense energy, we have intimacy, passion, so someone who's quite passionate, and paired with Scorpio and Mars, yeah, this is extremely passionate um, individual, so strong sex drive, I've been getting that a lot for a lot of the signs, very sexual person, I'm getting raw, you know, that animalistic passion and we have the animal written here as well but this is someone who's quite intense um maybe a bit secretive a bit of a extremist in their behavior though there can be a strong love hate theme to their relationships because this person feels a lot and they have a lot of depth to them um so yeah so once they're hurt they can be a bit resentful tad bit resentful um they're very loyal though um in you know once they give their heart to you they're not going anywhere this is someone who's extremely honest um bit of a dry sense of humor they have a very intelligent person um quite detail oriented this is someone who has a good memory um they'll they're quite observant in the sense they'll pick up on little things, you know, like when they first meet you, what you're wearing, um, your the colors you're wearing, your makeup, your earrings. They can pick up little details about another person, making them perhaps a very good uh, student. They're able to pick up on complex concepts quite easily.
that is coming through great communicator may come across as a bit shy reserved when you meet them yeah i'm getting shyness here twice but very private intense individual i'm getting a home body yeah this is an introvert someone who likes to spend a lot of time at home very um, ambitious though as well their career means a lot to them this can be someone who's older than you but yeah a lot of this energy passion they channel into their career which means a lot to them their reputation in the world they may have a good relationship with their father but we also have venus aquarius this is sometimes venus and tanthos can point to someone um, falling in love with the boss an authority figure but very charming individual, likely with a great following on social media, but just in general. If they're in, you know, a leadership position, they're well-liked, very friendly person, likely known, you know, very well-known in their community. Aesthetically quite pleasing. I think I mentioned that, right? Yeah, their looks are coming through and they use that to their advantage in their career. They're great at charming another. Most likely work, their work has to do with the public. And sometimes it's working online. Uh, for some of you, it's working online. Technology is being highlighted here. Social media. Marketing, something of that sort they do. Some of them are actors, models with Venus 10th house. But they're known in... They're, they have a reputation of being charming, good-looking. That's what they're known for as well, regardless of what they do. Although they get a lot of attention, it's from a distance. So I'm getting... Yeah. They have a lot of secret admirers that is coming through. A very sexy person likely very passionate with you in the bedroom but also someone who will like to go on dates with you some of them will want to have children with you with that fifth house being highlighted they'll make a great parent though a bit strict um in their parenting yeah that is what i'm getting let's get some characteristics uh taurus We have sensitive, gentleman, courteous. Yeah, someone who has good manners. Formal wear. Yeah, okay, so one, they could be wearing a uniform for work, but more so I'm getting this as a formal setting. Um, you meeting at their workplace or your workplace, something, or you work together, co-workers. Or you meet through co-workers. <laughs> Not surprised. We have quirky and sexual. <laughs> I'm hearing kinky. <laughs> so some of them, yeah, they'll be quite experimental in the bedroom. This can be Aquarius that is coming through. famous what was i telling you this person is well known they're popular for sure venus and tenta generous nice with you though um i don't get that energy with you know just anyone it's people that are close to them a youthful so regardless of age, there's a youthful demeanor, demeanor to them. Fifth house, they can be quite playful. <laughs> Cheerful. And we have stubborn. Some of you, this can be someone at a distant distance. Gift giving can be a love language. Physical touch is important. Um... Yeah, they can be a tad bit stubborn once they make up their mind. I wasn't getting that too strongly, though. Yeah, gift giving, very generous with you. Time, energy, money, yes, for sure. 
um, enjoying the finer things in life, um, very sexual, <laughs> um, someone who will, there's not someone who's boring, um, you'll, yeah, that'll, a lot of energy, and you both will be burning that together, <laughs> And we have a youthful and cheerful, yeah, very playful with that fifth house coming through. Um, someone with a great sense of humor. I'm getting more dry sense of humor, though. Very witty as a person. Someone who's famous, though, popular, well-known. Um, they have a bit of a following, I'm getting. And I got that throughout your reading, so that's perhaps a significant message for you, Taurus. But yes, that is what I have for you. Hopefully this was of some help to take care of yourself, and I will see you later. Bye!